everyone in this video i'm going to show you that how we can find s3 means configuration for cyber security as well as bug bounty hunting so before going to this video if you haven't checked out my previous video in which i have shown you that how we can automate the process of server side template injection then do check that out and let's get started also if you are new to our youtube channel and if you don't know about our website which is beatpractical.tech then I recommend you to check that out and the link will be given in the description. As you can see, this is the website. We have awesome labs for cybersecurity as well as web development. Here, as you can see, we have cybersecurity labs and all of these labs are based on real world scenarios. So you can practice your account takeover skills and bug bounty skills over here. And in the web development, we have front end challenges where you can improve your UI and UX designs. So do check them out and let's get started for this video. First of all, let us talk about what is S3, right? What is uh, S3 buckets? So in simple terms, we can say that S3 buckets is a uh, online storage service, right? So we can store our data on Amazon S3. It is similar to what we can we have seen in Google Drive, in Mega. It is somewhat very similar to that. So what happens is many uh, web application which is running on the internet, they store their data on Amazon AWS uh, server S3 buckets, right? So if uh, we find some kind of misconfiguration over there, then it may lead us to read some sensitive data on that S3 buckets. As we know that right now, most of the web applications are using cloud storage. So therefore, there's a high possibility that there may be some sensitive data which they are storing in S3, right? So because of this, S3 is a very uh, critical asset for many companies, right? So I hope you have understood that what uh, this S3 bucket is and uh, let us talk about what are the misconfiguration that we may find in uh, S3, right? So there are mostly three uh, misconfiguration. Number one, we can read arbitrary files. So this will allow us to read what is uh, residing in that particular S3 bucket, what are the files and we will, be, we will be able to read the files and we can download that file even to our local machine. After that, we have move or copy command, which we can use to transfer files from our machine to the S3 bucket. So it can be very uh, dangerous because this will allow us to escalate this vulnerability further to remote code, remote code executions, cross site scripting, and many others. And the third one is delete. So if the S3 is misconfigured, then there's a possibility that we can use delete command, which will allow us to delete uh, whatever files are residing on that particular S3. So this is why uh, S3 misconfiguration is taken as very uh, critical vulnerabilities as it will allow someone to uh, expose their data, modify their data and delete their data. So now that you have understood what this S3 bucket is all about, let us talk that how we can uh, find uh, S3 buckets and how we can exploit uh, and find misconfigured Amazon S3 buckets, right? So first of all, you need to open your Kali Linux machine. And by the way, if you don't know how to install Kali Linux on Windows machine without the use of uh, VirtualBox or VMware, then I recommend you to check out my video in which I've shown you that how we can do that. And after that, you need to open your Kali Linux machine, as you can see over here. Now, the first thing that you need to do is you need to type apt install uh, AWS CLI minus Y. So this will install AWS CLI on our machine. So as you can see, it has already installed in my case, but in your case, it is going to take some time depending on your internet speed. After that, we have to open the AWS website over here. So I'm just going to open a incognito mode tab and here I'm going to type AWS and you can click on any one of these links. So I'm just going to click on this. And now, as you can see, this is the uh, website and here we have to create a free account. So please note that whenever you're trying to create a free account in this Amazon AWS, it will ask you for uh, the credit or credit card or a debit, debit card details. So make sure you to fill that and don't worry, it will not uh, uh, charge you anything. It will uh, charge around 0 0.02 US dollar, which is around two rupees in INR. So, and after a week, it will be returned into your bank account. So you have to create a, an Amazon AWS account. And after creating your account, you have to do what I'm going to do over here. So first of all, you need to sign into your account. So let me sign in. So you have to type your email address. 
and your password and as you can see we are redirecting to our dashboard and here what we need to do is we need to move to the im uh, im directory after that you will see an interface similar to this and here we have to move to this user tab and we have to create a user over here so as you can see i have created two users already but in your case it will be zero and you have to create one so let me show you how we can create it so we have to click on add users and here we need to specify a username for example we can say that testing uh, testing one two three something like this and we have to select this over here access key after that click on next click on next and click on next and finally create your user account it is going to take some time and right now we have this access key id and secret access key which is very 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 important so let me show you that how we can configure aws cli now using these two information so after that you have to move over here and you have to type aws cl aws and you have to type configure and you have to hit enter and as you can see it is asking for access key id so as you can see i have already uh, configured mine but i'm going to show you that how we can do this so i'm just going to copy this access key id and i'm going to paste it over here hit enter and now it is asking me for aws secret access key right so we have to click on here show and as you can see this is the uh, access key i'm going to copy it and i'm going to paste it over here hit enter and leave the rest of it as it is and we can we are ready to go now our aws cli is configured perfectly now what we need to do is we need to find uh, an s3 bucket and we will see that how we can check whether that particular uh, bucket is uh, misconfigured or not so let me show you so for example if i move to this website let me show you what this website is so here as you can see i have this s3 bucket from lecs and we are going to see that how we can find aws misconfiguration over here so now now that we have this particular s3 bucket what we need to do is we need to type something like this over here aws ls and then we are going to type s3 and here we are going to type lecs so we need to type only this before s3 lecs and we need to type we need to do nothing we need to hit enter so it has shown me some kind of error so i can just type aws cli sorry aws uh lecs yeah so we need to type aws aws and here we need to type s3 then ls then s3 and we have to specify lecs and hit enter as you can see it has shown me that an error occurred so sometimes you may get this kind of message that access is denied but we can still able to uh, list out the files which is stored on that particular s3 bucket so for that we need to type no sign request so and now if i hit enter as you can see we were successfully able to find all these files which is stored on that particular uh, s3 bucket right so i hope that you have understood that how we can uh, configure aws cli to find misconfiguration in s3 buckets so if you have any doubts or if you have any issues then please let me know in the comment section also if you want to know that how we can find uh, s3 buckets on a private program or using a domain name then please let me know then i will create a video on that particular topic so with that said if you have any doubts if you have any issues then please let me know and do join our telegram group telegram channel 
where we can discuss um, many things related to cyber security or web development or any technical uh, thing that we want to discuss so thanks for watching